Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Kaylee McEnany here today in my personal capacity as an advisor to the campaign. This election is not over, far from it. We have only begun the process of obtaining an accurate, honest vote count. We are fighting for the rights of all Americans who want to have faith and confidence, not only in this election, but in the many elections to come. There is only one party in America that opposes voter ID. One party in America that opposes verifying signatures, citizenship, residency, eligibility. There is only one party in America trying to keep observers out of the count room. And that party, my friends, is the Democrat Party. You don't take these positions because you want an honest election. You don't oppose an audit of the vote because you want an accurate count. You don't oppose our efforts at sunlight and transparency because you have nothing to hide. You take these positions because you are welcoming fraud and you are welcoming illegal voting. Our position is clear. We want to protect the franchise of the American people. We want an honest, accurate, lawful count. We want maximum sunlight. We want maximum transparency. We want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to be discarded. Unlike our opponents, we have nothing to hide. The integrity of our election matters. The Constitution of the United States matters. What we have seen across the country is Democrat officials systematically trying to do an end run around the Constitution to tip the scales of the election in their favor. As Justice Gorsuch wrote in DNC versus Wisconsin State Legislature, our oath to uphold the Constitution is tested by hard times, not easy ones. Last minute changes to longstanding election rules risk other problems too, inviting confusion and chaos and eroding public confidence in electoral outcomes. Pennsylvania is a case study in just this. Allow me to just broadly review three points that have happened in Pennsylvania. Number one, in Philadelphia, poll watchers who are legal, legally permitted to be there and observe the vote count were blocked from observing the count. Our poll watchers were put behind barricades in a massive room. They were many feet from the counting process. And in fact, when you look at all of the tables, many hundreds of feet, in fact, from the tables in the very back. They were completely in the dark, completely unable to oversee the vote count, as was their legal right. An observer on the scene described it this way. Imagine being on a football field. You're on the 10 yard line and expected to make a call in the end zone on the other side of the field. It is unacceptable. An intermediary court ruled on the side of the campaign, on the side of transparency and allowing the poll watchers to observe the count. But what did the Democrat Pennsylvania Supreme Court do? They issued an administrative stay, effectively pushing back our poll watchers and denying them the access they deserve to sit and watch the count. Ask yourself this, what are Pennsylvania Democrats hiding? Why can't poll watchers simply observe the count? Second, Article 1, Section 4 of the United States Constitution clearly states this, the time, place, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed in each state by the legislature thereof. That's right, the state legislature is constitutionally the one making the decision. But the Supreme Court of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Kathy Bookvar, and the Democrat-tilted Pennsylvania Supreme Court have continually disregarded the Constitution, making decisions clearly in the domain of the Pennsylvania legislator. In fact, maybe there's a reason the Secretary of State, Bookvar, keeps substituting her will for that of the legislature uh, in, in a completely unconstitutional fashion. Perhaps it's because she has motive. In fact, she has shown her partisan hatred tweeting this using the title, quote, president before the word, quote, Trump, really just means the office of the presidency. We see where her motives stand. And finally, a mere survey of the facts shows that voters in blue counties like Philadelphia County were given certain privileges that voters in red counties were not afforded. The Constitution's Equal Protection Clause requires uniform standards, but Democrat election officials created disparities depending on where citizens lived and where they voted in the state. Some counties set up satellite offices for backdoor early voting, whereas other counties did not. Some counties allowed pre-canvassing, where other counties did not. Voters in some counties were allowed to cure their ballots, 
whereas voters in other counties were not. What Pennsylvania has done is provide a case study into how to tip the scales of an election to functionally favor the Democrat Party. This has gone on nationwide. And I'll leave you with this. In DNC versus Wisconsin State Legislature, in another attempt to count late ballots that arrived after the election, Justice Gorsuch wrote, nothing in our founding document contemplates the kind of judicial intervention that took place here, nor is there precedent for it in 230 years of the court's decisions. He went on to say, no one doubts that conducting a national election amid a pandemic poses serious challenges. But none of that means individual judges may improvise with their own election rules in place of those the people's representatives have adopted. They have taken a global pandemic and turned it into a nationwide electoral epidemic. They have taken, uh, based on what they call a natural disaster, they have used that and turned this into a national disaster. And with that, I'll turn it over to Matt Morgan, General Counsel for the campaign.